Hi there and welcome back to FTL Faster Than Light. I'm Baron. And those are the continuing adventures of the USS Good Hope 3 in Sector 6, a rock controlled sector. A distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. The satellite defense system has gone haywire and a repair crew can't approach without being fired on. They are looking for help to fix or disable it. Um, how about we let the Engi crew repair the targeting system? Your crew member is able to remotely fix the glitch in the defense AI, allowing the repair crew to close in and finish the job. The station gives you its thanks along with the reward. Very nice. Let's jump on. A motley collection of rock ships are stationed around this beacon. They look to have resorted to a pirate's life. Defensive maneuvers. Okay. Oh shit. They have two rocket launchers. We take out their weapons. You should not miss. Um, cloak. Auto fucking fire. Okay. So you teleport over here. I don't really know. Maybe we should take out the med bay. No, you're not running away. Okay, we got this one. They're trying to get away. Okay, I don't like that too much. But I think you will still get in here and destroy the metal completely. Oh, there are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it of useful materials and teleport your people back. Okay, that worked nicely. Uh, stop it. Activate. I could use a store. Why don't I find a store? Let's jump up here. Oh fuck, no! With their high resistance to heat, outlaw rocks often settle very close to stars. That is why it's hardly surprising when your ship gets boarded as you stumble up past the hidden settlement. Okay, um. Yeah. You go in here and kill them. You go in here and kill them. And you, together with all of you, maybe not you, Gilvan stays here. Solar flare imminent. Uh, can we escape that by cloaking? 
No, we can't. Okay. We jump, we jump. To the store. Okay. Leave me in peace right now. Okay, that worked. You go in here. But then game order returns to the weapons phalanx and we're good to go. So what do you have? I buy those. Defense drone. Anti-personnel drone. A defense drone. Power requirement 4. Do we want that? Yeah, I want it. And um, I upgrade the drones one more, once more, and okay, good. Jumping out into this direction. You see a Zoltan merchant and ask about his wares. He responds, sorry, but it took years to gain their trust. I can't be seen communicating with you. I hope you understand. He cuts communications. Maybe he wouldn't have done that if we had a Zoltan on board of our crew. What do you have? Burst laser too. Okay. How about we jump in here? You intercept chatter from an approaching dropship. Weapons moving in to engage on the tubes. There's no talking to these guys. Okay. We don't have enough energy to activate that. Um, okay, we deactivate that and then we... No, we don't really need that right now, do we? We activate the defense drone. I really want to see how that works out. Um... Okay, that works nicely. So I say we beam you guys over. Where are you anyways? Oh, get in here. In here. It sucks because you actually don't seem to have a med bay. Ha! Okay, we get them back. Although I don't think we need to power that down that far because I don't seem to need that right now. So we power you up and get our guys back. And get them healed up. So 
Let me power you down a bit and increase you. Ha! I, I can't tell you how much I love this defense drone. People, get back in there. And kill them. Oh, it looks like we're winning. Yes. Ain't that fun? That's fun. No, holy shit, no. I'm sorry. My mistake. Come back. I didn't even have to cloak. So now we have 88, that means we jump back to the storm. Because I want to buy a Zoltan. Uh, the Zoltan are close allies of the Angi. Their innate energy is strong enough to power ship systems. Provides power to the occupied system. Maximum health is reduced. We take a look at that. We close that. We go to the ship. Uh, no, thank you. We power one of those down. Get back to the store. Do we want Jorlek or do we want Marcus? We take Marcus. And he powers the system. Ain't that great? Alright. It may be a little late to give him a lot of experience. But at least now the... I mean, the maximum health is reduced. He's not a good fighter. Sultans aren't good fighters. But at least now we have uh, permanently someone in engineering that gives us a plus 5 to evade. No, even more actually. Plus 10%. No, plus 5, but then he powers it up. So we also have more energy now. Because we don't have to use an energy uh, unit, energy bar in here, which is a good thing. So how about we jump to this and then probably to the exit. You find that this abled rock transport floating near the beacon. You consider stripping it of useful parts, but are uncertain why it's there in the first place. Because it's a trap, we strip the ship. You salvage what you can from the ship. No one bothers you trying during the operation. Okay. Let's jump to the exit then. A strange vessel approaches. A digital message appears on your vid screen. This is an automated merchant. Uh, refill this vessel with fuel and it will supply you with drones. Yeah, sure thing. We do that. It's a good trade-off. Normally you pay 3 for fuel, I think, and 8 for drone parts. So we give 2 fuels and get 2 drone parts. I like that a lot. And we jump to the next sector. And now we have... We can choose between a rock sector or a Zoltan homeworld. We of course pick the Zoltan homeworld. Moving on. Oh, great. You arrive in Zoltan space. From what you have heard, they are in anticipated the coming one made preparations to hold their borders but since we have Marcus on board he who happens to be a Zoltan maybe we can work things out here we also uh, but we are also in a nebula here that should be unpleasant the inside of a nebula your senses will not function but the rebel fleet will advance more slowly towards you okay so we will actually take a break here and continue our next video. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.